hello, this is Hiro. Uh, I wanted to introduce you to a new concept that I've been working on. Actually, it's just kind of a, uh, identifying what I've been doing. I'm going to call it Ishi Zukuri. Ishi is the stone or the rock, and Zukuri or Tsukuri is to made. So when you combine different rocks together, you come out with a new art form. Well, remember I was saying that I was going to make these lanterns, so this is one of them that I did. Uh, I think this one came out quite good, but I'll show you uh, from here uh, we progressed on to a little bit more elaborate. So we are looking for Ishi Zukuri. This is another one of my earlier versions, so at that point I was still trying to make lanterns. Uh, so what we need is the base, collar, the light area, the cap, and then the cap on top of the cap. I think there was a name for it, but I have, I have to look it up again. But anyway, so this is more or less a lantern. This was an attempt without the lantern. I'm not sure where the front is though. It's kind of interesting looking this way, right? The two rocks are very interesting. Or do we use this as the front? I don't know. Uh, like I was saying, this is all in infancy, so be a lot of attempts. I'm using a thin set. That's a, sort of the motor that they use to stick the tile onto the walls and things like that. And I need to work on a little bit better uh, control so it doesn't get all over. I might be able to polish it off, but I have to get around to managing all that. Okay, this one is extra special uh, for me. Oh, see that the base, uh, the sort of the dark rock. Well, my granddaughter Mia, when they were uh, on this vacation in Oregon, evidently she found this in the creek and she brought it back to me. Now, all this other stuff, the the cap and the collar, those are very difficult to find naturally, but I did have those sitting around, so I added it together. Perhaps this side is the front. Well, you know, this thing is quite heavy uh, and sort of fragile. Well, the, the motor is holding its place, but because it's so heavy, if you bump it, I think it'll fall off. But what I found that since it's already made and it has the form, if, if it does come apart, just put some good quality waterproof glue and it'll go right back into place. But this one is quite heavy and very uh, sentimental to, for me because it was given to me by my granddaughter. Progression. Instead of just a lantern, I added a, a feature, the water basin. So this is like a tsukubai, right? And that's kind of what I'm leaning towards. So instead of... Uh, just straightforward with uh, one object. How about if we start to make a scene? And like I was saying, this is in its infancy, so it will progress as we go on. I had the rock with the hole drill uh, to uh, make a water basin. Then I wanted to add this lantern. I think it's working out okay. Um, but like I was saying, this is all brand new and in, in its infancy, so it's going to take a while to get it all developed. But um, I think more and more people will start to like making something like this on their own. Here is another one. Uh, <laughs> this one I kind of made it interesting in that it's got these three legs, but there's it's kind of hollow underneath. Well, anyway, uh, here is another. 
This one here, I was trying to introduce uh, quartz, quartz crystals. Uh, on the right there uh, is a little bit of uh, quartz crystals. And then for the lighted area, that's quartz also. And then I try to add this uh, polished quartz, may or may not work. So like I was saying, this is in its infancy. We just came up with this concept. So it's probably going to take a while to get all the bugs out of the uh, system here. Okay, so anyway, here's another one. Okay, this one here, I added uh, so that we could put incense in it. Uh, remember my friend Ken that lost his daughter? Um, I made him a bonsai or boniwa at that time. And I was kind of thinking about that. So this one here has the incense added. This one here, I guess we can call it works in progress. Uh, I got the base. I still haven't figured out the, how to get the top. You know, it's not always easy to find all these parts. So anyway, that's what I do is I try to get parts of it done, make sure the cement is nice and uh, dry, which was a really a hassle this, this time of the year because it's been cold. So it hasn't been drying. It takes over a week uh, for it to dry sufficiently for me to move these things. This is Hiro saying, I hope you uh, enjoyed this uh, introduction to a new art form. It's going to be called Ishi Zukuri. So made up of stones into a new form. I think this one sort of represents that nicely. So yeah, this one actually came out kind of differently. Um, I don't know, I come up with different concepts and keep trying different things. But anyway, uh, so you could say January of 2023, Hero came up with this new concept of Ishizukuri. Hopefully in the future we'll have more new ideas. Like I said, this is all brand new, so you should go try it too.